Merry Christmas, everybody. It's 3-5 slopes of lines. This is very important. You've probably already gone over this, but we're going over it again briefly. If you have any more questions, you can ask the person in charge. Okay? 3-5 slopes of lines. Okay? Essentially what a slope is, it's how steep the line is. Okay? The bigger, the steeper the line, the bigger the slope. It's like if you're riding down in a car, down a hill, you're probably going to be most scared with the steeper slope. Okay? It's a bigger number. All right? So, Slopes of lines. Let's look at the basics of it and then we'll move on. Alright? <clears throat> now, x axis, y axis, and I got a line. Okay? Thing you do is there's rise over run. Rise over run. Okay? Rise, that's going up or down. Okay? So that's how far you're going up or down. Let's start at, uh, let's say there's a point right there at the origin. Okay? It doesn't always have to be at the origin, but it is here. What we're going to do is, first we do the rise. How far do we go up to get to our next point? One. So it goes on top. And then we run, that's how far we go over. One, two, three. Okay, obviously my graph is messed up, but that's your fault. Just kidding, it's my fault. So when we run, it's side to side. Because you can't run up in the air, can you? You run side to side. That's three. That's four, our slope is one over three. That's it. Okay, that's the whole deal. Okay? Now, there's also a formula to find the slope, okay? Y, let's see if they start with the two or the one. doesn't matter if they keep them together. You don't you know what I'm saying, but I'm going to say it this way. Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. That's the slope formula. That's money, all right? That is exactly what you need to know. So if you don't have that written down somewhere, write it down, okay? So uh, we did one where you counted rise over run. Let's do one where we do the formula, okay? Let's try 8 2, negative 6, and 5. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Best way to do this, label everything. It's so easy to mess up if you don't have a label. Okay, let's go a little bit closer. Hey, you like that? Ha! Alright, now, here we go. I'm going to label, I know that's my X, that's my Y, that's my X, that's my Y. You pick one of them to be your first coordinate and second coordinate. Uh, let's say this is my first Object. coordinate, this is my second. One, X1, Y1, X2, Y2. All I do is I replace them with the stuff. First is a Y2, that's 5, minus Y1, it's 2. X2 is negative 6, minus X1, which is 8. Then we just work across the top, work across the bottom. 5 minus 2 is 3. Negative 6 minus 8 is negative 14. You got your answer. It's as easy as that, guys. Plug it in what you know to find what you don't know. All right? It's pretty much straightforward. You can either count, rise over run. Remember, rise goes on top, run goes on bottom. You can count it if you have a graph. If not, you can just do this and do the formula, okay? You can always do this anyways just to check yourself, okay? Now, you're more than welcome to draw sketches of this, but I'm just going to show you with my arms, okay? Do uh, you have a ruler in here? I'll be right back. It's okay, I don't need it. Or you can already go get it. Alright, I would like for you to take this time to think about the person in your life who's made the most difference on your life in the past two and a half minutes. Okay? Maybe somebody that you've listened to speak, maybe someone that is on a recording that you're watching. It could be someone with a gray polo shirt with a white v-neck underneath it. Okay, I'm not going to be specific because I want you to be as broad and think about whoever you've just felt touch your life as a person. This is getting too long. Okay, forget it. I'm just going to show you my arms. All right? Now, talk about the different kinds of slopes. There is a positive slope. Okay? Positive means you're happy. It means you're going up. Okay? That's okay. I don't need it. Thank you. Okay? Positive slope. X, Y. That means it is going up from left to right, okay? From left to right, like you're reading a book, it goes up. That's positive, all right? And also, when you do the slope formula or whatever, it's going to be a positive number. You can always check off that. It's easy check, okay? Positive goes up. Guess what negative is? Negative goes down. Just wait a second. Negative goes down, okay? So if you have a negative number, you can do that. Everybody got it? Good deal. So positive is going up, negative goes down. Next is across. If it goes straight across, 
That means that the slope is zero, because it's not rising or falling, it's staying zero, okay? Like that, okay? Now, when you have a formula, you know, usually uh, you'll do the slope-intercept formula. Um, this means that no matter what, our y is going to be like, what is this? Say that's up three, one, two, three. It means no matter what, this is going to be our formula, because y will always equal three. No matter what x is, x can be zero to a billion, it's going to go up three and it'll be on this line. Okay? You'll learn that in the next section. Probably, maybe not. Next one, the last one, is if you're going straight down, it's falling like this. That is called undefined. It means that the slope is so great, it's not even a slope anymore. It's a All right? Okay? It's so a good way to remember that is, if you jump off a cliff, which you should never do, if you jump off a cliff and you're falling, you're going, ah, my slope is undefined. All right? And you landed on marshmallows and jello, and you lived. Yay. All right? Um, that's it, uh, pretty much. Goody, goody, gum drops. I'm done, and thank you very much.